I am April Moore. I'm a medical nail tech, oncology trained, and I am the owner of Fresh Steps Medical Foot and Nail Spa. And today we're talking about tips for taking care of natural nails after enhancements. So let's get started. The first thing is let's talk about what enhancements are. So if you have overlays over your hey manny if you have um overlays over your natural nails and enhancements are acrylics dip powders hard gels and even gel polish um gel polish anything that's cured under a lamp that you put on your nails those are considered enhancements and those are very damaging to the nails as most people already know some people have gotten addicted to them because they know once they come out of them, their nails aren't as healthy as they used to be. And so in order to be able to maintain, they continue to go back to the nail salons and get their nails done again with the same products. So for those of you who have decided that enough is enough, I can't get to nail salon. I just want to, um, I just want to take care of my natural nails. This video is for you. So. I'm just gonna give you a short tip with taking off your, your enhancements because I specialize in, in um, natural nails. So I don't do enhancements anymore, even though I have done them and I'm very familiar with them. If you have on any type of acrylics or dip powders, um, you can soak them off with pure acetone and you can find pure acetone at like Sally's, um, Walmart, Walgreens or what have you in the beauty section. And so what you would do is just um, get some cotton balls and some foil, uh, soak the cotton ball with acetone, wrap your nails up in foil, and it's gonna be a process. Let me just make this clear. It's not gonna happen right away. It's gonna be a process. The next thing you wanna do to help take some of that off is get a 240 grit nail file so that you can take some of that off because normally when you're going to the salon, they're using the e-file or a drill, drill, depending on where you're going. So that's first and foremost. The next thing is for natural nails when you're coming out of enhancements. Once you get all the product off your nails, hey, Nikki, we're talking about nails, girl. So once you get your nails, the enhancements off your nails um, completely, and you see that your nails are damaged, the first thing you want to do is cut your nails down. Cut your, they're gonna be damaged, they're gonna be soft, and you won't be able to do anything with them. So the first thing you wanna do is cut your nails down. Um, and usually, like, you see my nails, you can see them over the tip of my finger. You wanna cut them down sh shorter than that. You wanna cut them all the way, I don't have any that's that short. I don't normally wear my nails as long. Um, this is kind of long for me, even though they're short, but you want to cut them down past that because what you don't want to do is be forced to use your nails to do things and they're paper thin. And as soon as you touch something, they bend, they hurt, they split, they crack. They're not healthy. And that's just how, how it's going to work. So, um, that is the first thing you want to do is cut your nails down short. The next thing you want to do is file them so that they do not have any rough edges, okay? Um, a good nail file, if you find one, what I use on my natural nail, which is the best thing going, is a crystal nail file. Um, when, when we're in nail school, we're taught that you should only file your nail in one direction. And that is not to tear up the nail. You don't want to tear up your nails. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to damage them or split them. So you're taught in nail school to just file in one direction. However, with the crystal nail file, um, because of the texture of this file and it's made for natural nails, you can actually go back and forth. Now you don't want to do like this, but you just, all you're trying to do is smooth out the surface of your nail and this will help smooth it and seal it and it doesn't tear the natural nail. So I do carry these in my store and we're actually getting some in. But this, the crystal nail files are really good nails for files for your natural nail. So once you have your nails cut down after you've taken your enhancements off, 
once you have your nails cut all the way down and i mean all the way down but you don't want to draw blood be careful um you want to make sure that the the um, corners of your nails are smooth they're not rough okay the next thing you want to do is you need a good nail and skin treatment oil all oils are not created equal just because they say it's a cute sometimes you'll see cuticle oil um your cuticles are you need more than just your cuticles oil because your nails are damaged they are lacking moisture and so you want to put that moisture not back not only into your nail plate but also into your skin your cuticles all around your skin all of that needs to have moisture and usually when you're coming out of hand enhancements your nails are dry and they're brittle and they're just not healthy so you want a good um cuticle oil or well, not cuticle oil but a nail and skin treatment oil so i have um what i use is uh dazzle dry it's called maintain it's nail and cuticle oil but this oil is rich it was developed by a chemist dr v and it's rich in vitamins and minerals that help strengthen um, our nails and helps to repair the skin um this oil all you need is one drop all you need is one drop you can put one drop in the middle of one nail you can spread this over every nail one drop goes a long way you want to rub it into not only your nail plate but your cuticle all around you want to make sure you want to do this at least twice a day at least twice a day especially when you're see i got enough to put on the other hand too especially when you are when your nails are damaged and you're trying to heal your nails at least twice a day and like it doesn't take long it's not greasy so you don't have to worry about um getting grease all over the place or being oily um it penetrates to the skin and into um your nail plate to add that moisture that you need the next thing you would need um, to care for your nails coming out is a good hand moisturizer. Um, I do carry a moisturizer. I don't, um, I, I have a moisturizer that I can retail. It's part of the Dazzle Dry line. Um, I don't retail it unless somebody asks for it. I can order it, but an eight ounce bottle of moisturizer is um thirty dollars and that's kind of one of the reasons why i don't haul it is um um the oil is twenty dollars and it's it is good and sufficient however you do need a moisturizer for your hand especially now when people are washing their hands more than ever you should always always moisturize after every hand wash after every hand wash you need to moisturize your hands okay you don't want them to get dry their skin to get dry and flaky you don't want that and because people are um moist uh washing their hands so much more now it's easier for them to dry out so you want to moisturize after every wash so you need a good moisturizer and the next thing is taking care of your insides you want to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water a good supplement for hair nails and skin is um biotin biotin i have a couple of clients that actually take it it takes about 30 days to get into your system real good but once it does you will definitely see a change in the growth of your nails and in your skin and hair um oh andrea andrea is using the poto expert on her hands we will have that um product soon uh, andrea is an educator for poto expert as i am we are one of seven educators in the united states that will have access to this phenomenal product um right now i don't have it andrea i'm you're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk after this <laughs> 
but um you definitely want to get a good moisturizer for your hands and um we are we will talk about polo expert on a future webinar when we have um on a future live when we we're not able to have access to it but for now like i was saying biotin is a good supplement um that you can take for your hands and skin and nails the thing about um oh okay andre it was a gift <laughs> because poto expert is available in canada right now um so what i want to tell you oh about the biotin is your with your nails when you are coming out of enhancements and you want to go to your natural nails it is going to be a process it's not going to be an easy process it is going to be a fr frustrating process because your nails are going to be so thin so um so somebody asked me am i still live so if um if you are wanting to go through this process please be patient with yourself nurture your nails so that they come out nice strong and happy because they're going to grow out from here so the time that it takes for your nails to grow from here to here is going to be the time that you have to wait to get that healthy nail back but in the meantime you want to keep them cut short so as they start growing keep them cut keep them filed keep them moisturized with the uh the oil and moisturizing lotion and if you can, um, and again, I would say consult your doctor just to make sure that you're able to take the biotin supplement. That has been a good supplement that has been proven well, especially with my clients that are taking it. They see a lot in their hair, their hair growth, their skin, and their nails. And it will definitely help bring your nails out healthier and help them to grow. Now, in this process, so we're talking about transitioning out of enhancements to the natural nail. The people that are in their natural nails, you want to be careful. You need to follow the same steps in caring for your nails. This will also eliminate hangnails. A lot of people, because hangnails are uh, oftentimes caused by dry skin and the dryness of your nails. So if you're using a good um, nail oil and skin treatment, that will help to eliminate the dryness as well as help to eliminate some um, hangnails, which can be irritating in itself. And I know I'm I'm a culprit, like I get caught up and I'm going to tell you, I will tear my nails up, even as a professional. You know, it's with this COVID and all the things that are going on in my life, I tend to get a little anxiety and you know, has some issues and I go in on my nails. So I get it, I understand. But at the same time, if we wanna have beautiful nails, we definitely want to um, take care of them. Now, the other thing is, um, and I talk with my hands. So I, I polished them yesterday. I, we was doing bingo live and I polished my nails. For me, um, I stopped using gel polish because I found an amazing, regular nail polish what i will tell you that if you decide to to go the long haul and go back into natural nails people's like well sometimes i don't like wearing polish because it chips yes it will anything will chip okay no chip will chip <laughs> but what i can tell you is that wearing your natural nails when they are healthy they look just as beautiful as if you had polish on trust and believe me on this when you get them to a place where they're nice and healthy and you are filing them properly you have a good nail file and a good uh, nail and oil treatment um yeah nail skin treatment for your nails you your nails will look beautiful they will look absolutely beautiful i like my nails without the polish a lot because um I just do sometimes I, I just like looking at them natural sometimes polish can be a little much for me but if you are a person that you do like to walk, wear polish um uh dazzle dry which is the same with this oil exactly andrea natural nails are clean and sexy you first of all if you wear your natural nails you can tell if they're dirty or not 
so you know when to keep them clean. You can look at them and tell them if they're drying out, so you know when you need to be adding that oil, and it just helps overall. But with the oil, Dazzle Dry, Dazzle Dry also makes a brand of polish. It's Dazzle Dry Nail Polish. It's a natural, non um, toxic, hyperallergenic polish. I use it because I do have a lot of immune compromised clients, and this is a good polish. It's um, the thing I like about it is that it wears well, it wears amazingly on healthy nails. Like, I can get at least a week. Like, this polish as it is will last me about a week without chipping. I promise you, it um, it's made a believer out of me because I'm one of those people. Now, if you picking at your nails, if you're doing all kinds of extra with your nails, it may wear a little fast or it may chip depending on what you're doing. But however, for the most part with normal wear and tear, it will not chip. You can get about seven to 14 days out of this polish. I usually go about seven because after about five or six days, I'm over it. I'm over the color. So um, that is just something that I offer at my salon. Um, they do have mini kits where you can get the whole package. Yes, Andrea says, Dazzle Dry is amazing. It wears well and leaves the nails healthy. The other thing about Dazzle Dry is that you don't, you can apply it yourself. It's, it's oh, Christian, it's called um, Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry Nail Polish. Um, it's one of the polishes that I use in my salon. And it it wears on healthy nails. It is amazing. I just I just took my polish off the other day and repolished my nails. But the best part about this polish is that it dries in five minutes. And when I say it's dry, I mean I can do like this and start doing whatever I want after five minutes of using this polish. It dries just like that. It is amazing and yes i had to try it several times before um i was like totally convinced because i was really playing with it because <laughs> that's just me when i have a new product or something i like to try it out on myself i like to learn it i like to uh, master it before i start putting it on my clients and because it's non-toxic and hypoallergenic it is great for my cancer patients it's great for diabetics it's just great for healthy nails. And the best part is you can take it off with um, with regular nail polish. So you don't necessarily have to go to the salon. Now, I do it with manicures, but if you're a person that can't make it to the salon or you don't wanna go as often as most people do, you can do this at home. You can do this at home. Somebody will be calling me. You, would, you can do this at home yourself and it, it's easy to take off. You just get regular nail polish and it leaves your nails nice and healthy. Um, if I was thinking, I would have brought the nail polish in and you could see my nails underneath this. But um, that's what I've been doing just to kind of keep my nails healthy because I've come out of the enhancements and I do, my biggest thing with enhancements is I don't like to take the time to take them off. Like if I have gel polish on, then I have to sit and soak it off. My, my, I'm getting too old for that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, you know, I just had a birthday. So my attention span to do that has gotten shorter. Like, I feel like I have more important things to do. So if I could just get some nail polish and take it off and go natural and then repolish it with, when I feel like it, that works for me. That works for me. Now, again, it's natural nails. Um, so, you know, I just, I like to see my natural nails sometimes. And when I wear color, I just, I do colors sometimes when I'm feeling it. And yes, Andrea said with Dazzle Dry, I love Andrea. She's commenting because she's another educator. So she's reminding me of stuff. So with Dazzle Dry, they have many kits. The whole kit that gives you everything that you need. You would prep your nail, which means clean the nail surface. You would have your, um, your base coat, a color, and your top coat. And you just give it a, each a little few minutes, a minute actually, to dry in between each coat. You put that last coat on, five minutes, you're ready to rock and roll, rock and roll. It's amazing. But it's just also an amazing product for people who are going into natural nails. And it's, um, again, it's non-toxic, it's hypoallergenic, it's vegan, it dries in five minutes, and it's amazing. Um, I recommend that when you're coming out of 
um, enhancements and you are wanting to just go with your natural nail, understanding that that is a process, um, for at least the first six to eight weeks, I would not wear any polish. I would give your uh, nails just an opportunity to heal, to watch it so that you can actually see what's going on with them and to um, make sure you're keeping them cut and filed safely. So I recommend when you're coming out of enhancements that you um, don't wear any polish. Don't wear any polish for at least six to eight weeks. Give your nails a chance to um, heal. And it, it reminds you, when you don't have the polish on, it just reminds you to moisturize and put your oil on because you, you're going to actually be watching your nails. So I am, um, if you have any questions, definitely post your questions um, in the comments. If you're just tuning in, we were talking about natural nail care and how to um, come out of enhancements and how to care for our natural nails um, uh, and hang nails and things like that. If you have any questions, you can definitely inbox me. You can email me. Um, you can visit my website. Hey, Latasha. Um, you can visit my website. Okay, so Andrea says, if nails are thin after removing the enhancement, would a nail strengthener help or just go naked? Okay, personal, this is my own personal opinion. I personally just go naked. Now, um, I, I'm not sure, I heard that I think it's by OPI, it's uh, pleasing, uh, I don't know, you, you'll have to look it up, but I think there's a thing called Nail Envy, and I hear that is a good strengthener for your nail. I'm not absolutely sure, I have not used it. My personal opinion is to just go naked, coming out of enhancements. You just want to give your nails the opportunity to heal and come out, um, healthy and again you working it from the inside out yes naked with the oils that that for me that is just my personal opinion as a professional nail technician that specializes in natural nails that is just my personal opinion just going naked with a good um nail and oil treatment i recommend um the maintain nail and cuticle oil i do have this in my store this bottle is twenty dollars and like I say, a little goes a long way but what i will um i don't have it in stock right now so it's probably showing sold out but i will have some by next week and the other important thing that i will have these are coming in today is glass nail files crystal glass nail files these nails are absolutely amazing for the natural nail. You can shape and file your nails and you don't have to worry about destroying them, splitting them, um, or tearing up your edges. These nails, and they will last you forever as long as you don't drop and break them. They will last you, okay, I'm not going to say forever, but they will last you a good long time. These retail on the website for $12.95 and we should be getting some in today. So my tracking says on my uh package um the combination i do sell the combination of the nail oil and the file when the oils come in they'll it'll change on the website but this combination sells for 29.95 on the website this and a good hand moisturizer is all you need when you're coming out of um, enhancements and you want to treat your natural nails again what causes hang nails is the dry skin so when you moisturize your nails you're taking care of them you will prevent a lot of the dryness as well as the hang nails um are there any other questions or comments andrea thank you so much for joining me on my live today talking about natural nails thank you for all your input as well and again, Andrea is another one of our educators with our Anifix and Poto Expert. And so she is amazing and has a lot of knowledge as well. The thing about us is that we're so few and far between when we specialize in things like this. So 
Um, we have to support each other. And again, if you have any questions, um, I can be reached and you can inbox me here on Facebook. You can email me. Hey, Robert, we are getting ready to end, but we were talking about natural nail care. Um, for those of you who are interested in natural nails and taking care of your hands, I know some men are into their grooming. So this is the information. You might have to catch it on a replay, Robert, but this information is also good for men taking care of their natural nails, keeping them cut, um, keeping your nails cut short, keeping a good oil on them, and just moisturizing. Moisturizing your hands. You're probably washing your hands 20 times a day with all of everything that's going on in the world. So make sure you keep them moisturized. You don't want them to dry out. Um, and if there's any questions, like I say, you can um, reach me here on my inbox and you can email me at freshstepsmedispa at gmail.com. You can visit my website at freshstepsmedispa.com.